Hello, in this A-Frame Web VR tutorial, we're going to look at transformations. There are three main transformations, position, rotation, and scaling. Don't think they really need to be explained too much. Position just changes where your object is located. We're going to be transforming our box, but it could be the torus, cylinder, whatever really. Pretty much anything can be transformed because it can be moved, position, and it can be rotated so it can also be scaled as well they are attributes that you just add to your element so let's just add position first i'm just gonna put it on a new line just because there's gonna be quite a bit of code and we don't want it to be on all on one line so put position equals and now you put the x y and z value i'm going to put zero for the y let's put one zero save that we we'll go back to the web browser we'll go to the web browser refresh okay i don't think it's done anything let me ah spell position wrong save that and let's go back to it refresh as you can see it's moved up to illustrate it a bit more i'm just going to set this to eight actually that might be a little too much yeah, it was a little too much. I have to look up. But that's pretty cool because if you have a headset, you can look up and actually see that it's quite high. And it'll look pretty realistic as well in terms of the depth if you have some sort of web VR, um, some sort of VR headset. So I'm going to change it to a four. That should be okay. Refresh. Yeah, that's okay. So now we're going to show you the rotation attribute. So rotation equals and um, for this is the x y and z value which if i can remember correctly i believe it's is it is it pitch then you're the role i think those are the uh, those are the terms but is that the correct order I'm not too sure check it out and let me know if i was wrong but i'm gonna put 45 45 and 45 degrees so 360 will be a complete rotation so it won't essentially have any change so if I save that go to the web browser refresh and as you can see it's now rotated and it's in a different angle now it almost looks like our camera has moved but that's just because we don't have anything else to compare it to essentially what Einstein's theory of relativity is if you don't have anything else to compare it to you can't really compare it because you, you for I'm going off on a tangent, but you only know that something is going fast because there's other stuff that's not going as fast. There's some stuff that are essentially static, and you're just zooming past it. And you might say, okay, you couldn't know that you're going fast because of air resistance. But again, it, it's still relative to air resistance. Again, I'm going off topic here. There's no need me need for me to start talking about this. So let me just go back to it. The last transformation I'm going to show you is scale. And this is just affecting the width, the height, and the depth. Depth, so I'm going to put 1, 2.5, and 1. Ooh, not 25, 2.5. That's 25 is going to be way too big. So we're going to change the effect, the height of it. So that's it. That is it for transformations in A Frame Web VR. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There will be a link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from every other video in this series. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and leave us a comment. And if you didn't like it, please let us know in the comments as well so we can improve it for next time. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.